one. Cool. Maybe we need to change the way we label a shoot like this. We know it's a squirrel shoot day, but it's also a group of people volunteering, giving up their Sunday as part of a wildlife conservation effort. If this were a beach clean, it might even get on the local news. It's Jack who has extended the invitation for us to come along this morning. <laughs> David met Jack on a deer move day with Roy. With the offer of a sociable morning and of course some al fresco dining, what's not to like? So Jack, you invited me along this morning, so what's the plan? What's going to happen? Um, we're literally just going to have a fun day shooting drays. Uh, we'll use the thermal just to sort of see if anything's at home. And then, yeah, if there is at home, we will just blast, basically. It's going to be a loud, exciting morning. <laughs> Hence why we've got loads of cartridges. But it's literally just everything that I could find. Old clay cartridges, 21 grams, 24 grams, just everything. Bits and bobs, bits and bobs, but it, it will, will be good. And the shooters themselves, where, where have you gathered this lot from? Um, so these are mainly a syndicate, where well, the woods that we're in is a, a actual pheasant shoot here. Um, and yeah, they're just all, all members of it basically. So I got invited through Ant and then I invited you. Cool. <laughs> it's um, all good. Shoot. Obviously shoot uh, magpies, jays, pigeons. This magpies. syndicate shoot in Sussex is very hands-on. Gamekeeper Anthony Oliver gets hundreds of working hours out of the guys to make this shoot work. And he, like so many other keepers across the country, are carefully doing their sums yeah. for the 2022-23 season. He's already sought approval to add another gun to the team. So what's your theory then, Ant? My, my theory is that one squirrel can eat maybe 100 grams a week a day. Mm -hmm. So in a shooting season, 100 squirrels by my calculation, it works out 1.2 tonnes of wheat, which at today's prices, and the prices are going up and up and up. So last squirrel shoot we shot 50, so that saved half a tonne of wheat. And oh then there's all God. the damage to the forestry as well. Uh, well so that's uh, just all that stuff bonus. goes on anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. And if you talk to people who do chestnut, post and rail and stuff like that, the damage that squirrels do early on on the trees shows itself up 15, 20 years later. Right. When, they're, when they're cleaving out rails and stuff like that, the yeah. centre of the tree is screwed. So yeah. they do it, yeah, it will. you know they do a lot of damage. So. Cool. But that's, like my that. little that's my little theory for the, for the wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there he goes. He's going up. One. Dinner. <laughs> really? No. You had it ever? You had it ever? Uh, I did have it once years ago. I gave some to my dad. Um, <laughs> but that's I, still not you having it. Well, I did try it, but I did tell my dad, well, sorry, I didn't tell my dad what it was. Um, and it wasn't until he had sort of three or four mouthfuls I told him, and then he, yeah, he didn't like it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny at the time, I must admit. So, boy or girl? Uh, boy. There we go. Stuff. Lovely, jubbly. Right. Let's even get some more. This exercise is all about reducing songbird egg and chick predation by this alien invader. It reduces the impact on the health of the trees, plus, more importantly than ever before, limits the costs and damage they cause to a shoot. They even turn the feeders over and open the lids. Just a few grains left in the bottom will entice a hungry squirrel to chew through it. Bad, Halfway through and we have a count up. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, While ignoring the shot ratio. 16, 17, 18. That's me. However many else. 15, that's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that was a, a gamekeeper's tool? It is, and I think they call it a larder gun. So you can fill your larder. <laughs> so you can shoot on the ground and in the air. <laughs> So just tell me about the calibers. Uh, it's triple two, 12 bore, and it's got multi chokes so you can change. And uh, it's very handy in the woods. So if you're on a long ride and you see a fox or something, you can shoot it. Or if you're close up, you've got the shotgun. That was my main thing. Um, was my re main reason for getting it. I put a red dot sight on it recently, yeah. which is like cheating. But it's it cheating. <laughs> but it works, it works really, really well. And uh, yeah, you can shoot slugs with it as well. Cool. Very robust bit of kit. And, uh, what, was it, what make is that then? It's just a bicycle. Okay. But um, I know you can get all the 
all the German ones, like the Krikovs and stuff like that, which are five, six, seven grand. But I believe it shoots just as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't poke up. There are a lot of drays, but few residents. One heads for a hole in the ground. Surely it's another Childerly style extraction. I'm not as brave as Paul Childerly. <laughs> That's a no yeah. then. Have you ever been bit by a squirrel? If no. Go on, get it. Make a hole from that. Got yeah. it, you got it. Good dog. Did it. <laughs> Jack clearly doesn't have an issue with his dogs dicing with the sharp end of a squirrel. Nice. The spaniel's hard mouthed anyway, she doesn't pick up. She will pick up off of water, but that's about it. She's pretty useless to be fair for picking up dogs. I don't see yeah. You wouldn't get bitten by that, would you? The shooters splinter off into smaller groups and come back for food at the beater's hut. Spam, sausages, onions, beer and salad. Oh, and it looks like there's space on the hot plate for squirrel straps. I'm going to cook it. I've been watching Pascal with his <laughs> cooking. Here's some Pascal action. Then. That's it. <laughs> oh, Jack, you are amazing. <laughs> Not actually a lot on this one. With 20 plus greys on display, add 100 grams of grain a day, plus fewer songbird nests raided and trees chewed, it's a successful haul. Wildlife management is active, not passive. You don't protect birds by sitting at home worrying about them. And these guys should be applauded as much as the volunteers walking the high tide line, putting plastics in a sack. You've got a knife? Choose a good one. Yeah. Choose a good one. Yeah.